Well, you're going to love this story. Uh, mm -hmm. This month, a Clarksville woman made history again when she crossed the finish line at the New York City Marathon. It finished off her second straight Grand Slam of marathons. Amazing. Tatiana McFadden celebrated that victory by getting this boarding a plane and competing in a race in Japan. Mm. As Diane Cho reports, she's done it all from her wheelchair. Tatiana McFadden is only 25 years old, but already she's achieved titles no one has ever held before. I live my life saying, what can I do? Instead of thinking, am I allowed to do this? She was born with spina bifida, causing her to be paralyzed from the waist down. She learned to walk on her hands as a child at an orphanage in Russia. Deborah McFadden was there on a business trip when six-year-old Tatiana's smile caught her attention. She just charmed, and uh, it was it was meant to be. Doctors told her Tatiana wouldn't live very long. In hopes of building her strength, her mom got her involved in just about any sport she could think of. By the time she turned 15, she became the youngest member of the U.S. Paralympic team, going on to win 11 Paralympic medals throughout her career, three of which are gold medals. I want to be able to push the sport further and to show the world that, you know, it, it can be done. As Tatiana prepared for the New York City Marathon earlier this month, she was working out about four hours a day, logging more than 100 miles a week. The day of the race, the wind gusts were so strong, race officials cut the 26.2 mile course three miles out of safety concerns. In the final stretch, Tatiana fell out of her chair, making a turn trying to avoid potholes in the road. I just had to stay focused on and keep going. Still, she finished a minute and eight seconds ahead, marking her eighth major marathon win in just two years. While her mother says she's proud of her daughter for all of her accomplishments, the biggest success of all has been winning in the game of life. We don't know what the future holds for any of us, and we don't know what limitations are. In Clarksville, Diane Cho, ABC 7 News. Man. Is that amazing or what? What an inspiration. <laughs>